Hey everybody, welcome to ADSR. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on social media for great content every day. I'm Steven with Inner Voice Media. Today, I wanted to talk to you really quickly about real-time pattern variations in machine and just two really simple tips on how you can use them to improve your production. So what I mean by that is creating patterns that maybe cross over scene lines as well as just a quick way to build up a bunch of patterns that you can try out in your arrangement. So to start out, I've got a, uh, a very straightforward little kind of chilled out groove. Nothing too fancy here. And I've also added a vocal choir vox kind of thing. And this phased clav, which I'll probably use with the note repeat, just because there's lots of fun stuff I can do with that kind of sound. In the software, most of you are familiar with, we can just click up top where it says scene one or scene two, etc., and to choose a particular scene to work in. A lot of people don't realize you can actually drag the ends of your selection. And with what I've done here now, it's going to start from scene two and play all the way to the end of scene four. On the hardware, it's even easier. I can select one just like touching any of them, select two of them, I've selected them all. Select the first and the last, and my entire arrangement will play. So this is a nice way just to play bigger chunks of your arrangement, but it's also a great way to record, say, a part that maybe spans two scenes, but you still have it broken across multiple patterns. To start, I'm going to use the choir vocal over two different scenes, and let's watch what happens. So you'll notice what happened here is as I get to the end of pattern two, it carried this last note over into the next pattern. And at the beginning, there's nothing there. So it overlaps. But I was able to, in real time, create a multi-part idea that stretches across multiple scenes. So as you can see, that's a pretty cool technique. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and go to my last scene, and I'm going to add oops, that pattern. So, the other way we can use this technique is to build up a whole bunch of variations of an idea. Just playing with a part, get rid of the ones that don't work, use the ones that do in the arrangement. So, I've got a scene here, it's a little more active, a little hi-hat going on. And I think I want to add that phaser clav now. I'm going to actually duplicate my scene. So I've got four copies of the exact same thing and I select them all. So now as it goes across different patterns, I'm going to try single pattern ideas and then I can use the ones that work, delete the ones that don't. So let's give that a shot. So just like that, I've got four scenes with four different ideas. Yes, yeah, some of them don't work as well as the others.
No problem, I'll delete them. So let's say I like this pattern in this one. I don't like these last two. It's no problem. If we go to our pattern mode, we can see that it laid them out in a sequential row. So boom, I delete those. And in this one, I just come over, add that pattern. And in this one, I'll add that one. And now I've got some nice variation in my parts. So this is a really cool technique. You can use both these ideas to build up drum patterns or something to, to do all kinds of variations in the hi-hat lines. Really, the possibilities are endless. So if you have any questions, make sure you ask them on the video page. So thank you very much. Again, make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel, follow ADSR on social media. Uh, I'm Steven with Inner Voice Media, and have a great day.